So at the moment here you can see that the panel is disarming or disarmed on your own phone. So if you click here, it's going to come up here. Two options, your arm stay and your arm away. If you're staying in the home, you want to click arm stay. What, what, what that will do is it will ignore all the motion sensors. So only your external sensors will trigger your house alarm. Just click that button and it will arm stay like so. If, you want, if you're leaving the home and you're not coming back, you want to arm away. So away from the home, stay in the home. It's the two differences there. So when you arm away, any sensor that gets triggered is going to sound the alarm. Simple as. If you did want to leave a window open while you're arming your system, you can, you'll can. you have an option up here that would say uh, Force Bypass. By clicking Force Bypass, it's going to ignore that sensor and it won't trigger your alarm even if you do trigger it. Here is the no entry delay. So normally, whenever you come home, even if the system is armed, you get 30 seconds to disarm the system via the keypad. By clicking no entry delay, you get rid of that. So the second you walk inside and trigger a sensor, you will trigger the alarm. Whenever you arm your system, it'll make a beeping noise, you'll notice that. But by clicking silent arming, it'll get rid of that beeping noise. So if you're arming at night time, you might want to hit silent arming and arm stay. Just make sure before you arm